Sage Nico would like to battle. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so Spell Sprite is a grass type, and it's pretty low level. Maractus, you got this. Oh my fucking god, you still you still suck, Maractus. Oh, by the way, uh, Rap was never fixed in Gen 2. So if a Pokemon uses Rap against you, you just sit there and take it again. That won't be fixed until Gen 3. So, say hello to the Bellsprout Tower where I think there's a couple of Pokemon that can use Rap. A couple of Bellsprouts out there. Luckily, it's not doing so, so, yay for that. Right? So I will say, gonna do a little bit of training, right, around the Bellsprout Tower, outside the Bellsprout Tower. Once the Bellsprout Tower becomes too easy, you wanna head to the Dark Cave, fight some G-dudes, right? Because, uh, especially for me here, I'm going into the, to Faulkner's Gym at a disadvantage, with two of my Pokemon being weak to flying, and... You know, in my original playthrough, I only had two of my Pokemon with me, right? I didn't have uh, uh, Mr. Vis with me. So Mr. Vis will kind of level that out depending on what moves it learns. But, you know, right now the plan is uh get Maractus to uh, about, I'd say about low 15 or 20-ish should like help your Pokemon. 20 should definitely be enough, right? Because at that point, you have, uh, you know, your your second evolution of your starter. And I don't think Spinarak evolves until, like, 32 or something like that. Right? And even then, it's still kind of iffy. You gotta, you gotta work with it, right? You gotta teach it some TMs. You know? Its redeeming feature is, uh, is Nightshade. But you gotta, you gotta make it, you know, gotta make it work for you. I recommend putting Dig on that Pokemon if you're gonna use a uh, Ariados. I hate spiders. <laughs> I hate spiders, but for some reason, as a kid watching watching you know watching Johto Adventures on the television as a child, early in the mornings, late at nights. For some reason, watching the episode with like Spinarak and Ariados in it, I just loved the way they looked. For years, I love Spinarak. Oh my god, it's so adorable. But just like Caterpie, bring that motherfucker in real life. I'm taking out a shotgun. I don't know where I'll get it from, but I'll take it. Right? Good job, Maractus. Nico was defeated. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. Cool. Now, if you do want to grab yourself a Bell Sprout wire here. Go ahead and do so. I will do exactly that while I'm here, mainly because, uh, oh shit, I only got one Pokeball. Well, you should grab yourself one, because you're going to need a Pokemon to learn Cut. And either you give it to your main Pokemon, or you have something with you. Here we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. That's cool. Pokemon are honorable. So Johto's the best. Jo Johto's the best generation, yeah. <laughs> like, let's be honest. <laughs> That's right, all you Gen Oneers. You thought Kanto was the best. You're wrong. <laughs> it's all about Johto. I don't know what it is about Johto for me, personally. Like when I think about it, you know, like I don't have nostalgia glasses like a lot of people do, you know. Like, there are definitely things I grew up with that I love, but, like, I can look at them and still go like, Yeah, this is kind of shitty, right? But at the same time, for some reason with Pokemon Johto, I don't know, everything just looks so shiny and new to me all the goddamn time. Especially with the anime. Especially if you had, like, the, uh... If you had the VHSs growing up and you, and you got, like, the cases that they came with, the cases themselves were fucking shiny. Which also reminds me... First time I watched Pokemon Forever, right? The one with uh, Celipi and Suicune and all that bullshit. I bought a VHS of it. Little did I know that it was in Spanish. <laughs> so first time watching that movie was just in Spanish, no subtitles. 
just in Spanish. And you know what? I enjoyed the fuck out of it. I still felt every emotion, didn't know what the fuck they were saying, but I got the story. You know, I cried at the end. I was like, come on, Celipi, eat the damn berry! <laughs> That's a good movie. That's a good Pokemon movie. It's pretty chill. I like it. Most people don't talk about it. More people need to talk about it. But I haven't really watched Pokemon in years. <laughs> Mainly because... <laughs> Mainly because once Gen 4 came around, like, I still played Pokemon, right? But watching it kind of stopped because it was during the time where Cartoon Network said, You know what? What if we just put the new episodes of Pokemon at, like, fucking 9 in the morning, 10 in the morning on school days? It's like, what? What? It's like the same thing that fucking... That, uh, Disney tried to do when they, when they, like, took Naruto Shippuden. They were like, episodes coming out Wednesday at 11 p.m. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and that's the only time we ever show Naruto on, on Disney fucking XD or whatever the hell it was. And it's like, man, fuck that. I'll just go watch it online, you lying piece of shit. Wanna watch new episodes of, and fucking Toonami wasn't around at the time too, so, damn. Sway like leaves in the wind. Who axed? What the hell are you talking about? Are you high? Edmund would like to battle. Go Bellsprout! Eat up all that beautiful experience, Maractus. Exactly what you need. Make it work for you. I'm trying to think of, like, what moves to teach Maractus down the road. Because it's a physical attacker, right? If it was a special attacker, you know, I would... I would do, like... I don't think you can learn Shadow Ball. No. I think you can learn Psychic, though. So I would do, like, you know, Psychic. Nightshade. Um... Sludge Bomb? Is Sludge Bomb in this game? Sludge Bomb's in this game, right? Yeah, Sludge Bomb should be in this game. You know, that's a special move for poison types. And then, I don't know, struggle bug, something? I uh, fucking... I don't know. But no, it's a physical attacker for some goddamn reason. Our Pokemon team is gonna be very unconventional in this game, honestly. <laughs> like, even during my plus, uh, my test playthrough, my plus playthrough, yeah, that's right, I was gonna say that, I fucking flubbed my words. My test playthrough, right? During that, I was having some trouble with certain Pokemon down the road. And I was like, damn. I don't want to use Meganium all the time, but I'm going to have to use Meganium all the time. I kept defaulting to, like, the same two Pokemon. Alright, Bellsprout. Look at it move its fucking neck. That's so gross. I also want to point out, like, this entire time I've been recording, someone's just been, like, I don't know, screaming on their phone in my background. Not sure if the microphone's picked that up or not. It might have. If it did, I apologize. But you know what? Gotta, gotta record when you got some free time. You know? Oh, I'm weak, he says. Cool. And with that smooth-ass cutaway, the background noise has been put down a little bit. <laughs> I walked out my room and I'm like, what the fuck's going on out here, guys? And they're just full blasting Jerry Springer, and I'm like, what the fuck? Come on, man. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. The way my house is set up is that, like, there's my room, and then there's the front entrance to the goddamn- Like, right outside my door is the living room, and, like, two steps away from that is the fucking- Is the goddamn, um, entrance to the house, like, the front door. So, like, every bit of noise that can possibly happen just comes out, you know? And then for some reason, someone's like, you know what, in this loud-ass echo chamber of a living room that we have, right? I'm gonna put a TV here, and I'm gonna put it close to your room, and it's like, what the hell are you doing? Come on, man. 
Let's full blast it, because we can't hear shit. <laughs> Maybe if we didn't full blast our music when we're in the car all the time, we would have a little bit of hearing left, but we don't. And that's the life I live. That's how I record. Doesn't leave me a lot of time to record. By the way, I am out of Poison Sting. That is a bad bad. That is a bad no bad bad. Bad bad. Go Mimi. Finish the job. The moment I said finish the job, it felt like I was fucking playing Mafia 2 for a hot second. Come on, Vito, finish the job! Level 9. Alright. Sage Jin was defeated. I'm gonna run my ass over to the Pokemon Center and, um, just heal up Maractus and get some of that power points back, you know what I mean? Don't worry, down the road he will... Maractus is a dude, right? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Oh yeah, you can also get Gastly's here at night. Totally forgot about that. Oh wait, no, wait, mm, I might be wrong. Might be wrong, this might be added. Cause another thing that they changed within the... Um, oh fuck me. Within the uh... Within the ROM hack, right, for Perfect Crystal, is that they changed the location of certain Pokemon to make them more obtainable, right? So I think Gashly might be one of those here in the uh, Bellsprout Tower, because I think the Bellsprout Tower should only have Bellsprouts. And if it does have a Gashly, it should, you know, be something else. Should be like, you know, only at night or something, like fucking 5% chance or something like that, I don't know. But yeah, but we're gonna use that, uh, we're gonna use that relocation of some Pokemons to our advantage. Especially when getting our Fire-type for the team, because I know, uh, the Fire-type that we're looking for, you can only get it at Mount Silver, I think, as well. Like, after the Elite Four, or maybe, like, a couple of, a couple of routes before the Elite Four. But, in this ROM hack, they, um, they put it in a different location, so, made it, made it way easier to get. So all our Pokemon that we can get are here in the Johto region, with the only, uh, I mean, you know, Mischievous is in the Johto region too, but they're in the Johto region without having to, you know, without having to, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, beat the Elite Four. Where the hell? Okay, here it is. I was looking for a Pokemon Mart. We need some Pokeballs, actually. We are gonna grab ten. Ten should be enough. Man, that's a lot of money. Now, unlike Gen 1 and the infamous Missing No glitch, I don't I don't know any glitches for Gen 2. And even if I did, maybe Perfect Crystal has fixed them up. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I would even be able to do them or not, but um might be uh might, you know, might need to worry about money a little bit more for this playthrough instead of selling like 99 golden nuggets to boost the shit out of our Pokemon like we did in Gen 1. Cause it was in the game, you know? It was in the game. You could have done it. It wasn't, it was technically cheating, yes, but it was a glitch that was available in the original release, so I didn't cheat. Still, you know, still vanilla. The only difference was that we had it in color. The Elder HM lights even pitch black darkness. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. You're gonna need that later on. Sage Neil wants the battle. Alright, Maractus. Go beat its ass. Maractus is a, is a female. Wait, no, Maractus is a male, I'm sorry. My my brain, my brain not good with gender sign. Oh my god, a special attack went up. Doesn't matter to me. It's a level 6 spell sprout, though. I should be a little bit more worried. Never mind. Never mind, that was what spell- Oh wait, no, Vine Whip is a physical attack, right? Even with all the new changes to moves and stuff like that, I don't think you can... <laughs> I don't think you can check the the moves' abilities, right? I don't think you can do that in Gen 2. Not yet, anyways. I 
That was a loud ass yawn I just did. Uh, it is my head that is bright. What? Did you have a stroke? Did I have a stroke? Someone here had a stroke. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. I don't know. I trust that Maractor shouldn't die. Hopefully. Troy wants the battle. That weird ass neck movement that Bellsprout got going. I can't wait for you to learn something else besides Poison Sting, Bellsprout. It would help out a lot. Just a little bit more. It's not very effective. You keep hitting me with these leaves, man. There we go, level 10. Do I learn anything? Absolutely not. Hoot hoot. Oh shit, that's bad. <laughs> Hex girl's not gonna do much. Go, Mimi. Fuck him up. Uh, tackle should be fine. I want to go for that stab damage, but tackle should be fine. Nope. Nope. Bad idea. Double bad idea, because now it hit me with growl. Razor Leaf. So it just stuck with Razor Leaf. She just stuck with it. Way better. Critical hit. Nice. It's not effective, but get that stab damage. You know what? Should have stuck with Tackle. Foresight. Identified it was Mimi. So Foresight allows normal type Pokemon to hit ghost type Pokemon. But unfortunately, ghost type Pokemon will still not be able to hit normal type Pokemon. So Foresight's very good. Learned Reflect. Nice. Yes, your trust is real. Alright. You are indeed skill- wait, what? Oh, you are indeed- <laughs> I had a hard time reading that. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this. You should treat your Pokémon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokémon are not tools of war. Unless you're Lieutenant Surge. Or unless you're in the... Or unless you're in the Megastone universe. <laughs> hmm. He claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really don't... I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Silver used an escape rope. I'm Audi 5000. Silver is like what the last, like, true asshole rival we have in the series. Right? And then after that, you get the friend rivals, which, which may in, uh, what the hell is the name of the dude from Brendan? That's his name from Gen 3. May and Brendan are great, right? They're difficult. You know, Charon's cool. Charon and Bianca are great as well, right? You know. Berries. Berries uh, is not as good until Platinum, right? Platinum's way better with Berry. But after Gen 5, it's just your rivals go downhill, man. Just downhill. And it just gets worse and worse with the worst offender being fucking Sun and Moon. Oh my god, I hate how. I hate him so much. Hey, man, we're friends, right? Like, no, how? Get away from me. Stop talking to me. So, good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. Allow me to chickety check yourself before you riggedy wreck yourself. <laughs> Sage Lee. I thought, oh my god, for a moment I thought his name was Sage Lit. <laughs> Sage Lee wants the battle. Sends out Bellsprout. 
Go, Miles Mracked. You got this. You shouldn't die. If you die, I disown you. Slowly but surely whittling that health down. So, what's the point of using growth if... Vine Whip is a physical attack? <laughs> Nothing. It's no use to it whatsoever. Good job, Miles Maract. What else is coming out? Another Bell Sprout? Bell Sprout. Get as much experience as you can, Maractus. I don't think can hmm. I'm trying to think. Can Spinarak and Ariados learn Fury Cutter? Is Fury Cutter the one I'm thinking of that, like, gets stronger every time? Yeah, it's Fury Cutter, right? Yeah, it's Fury Cutter. Man, one of the moves that- one of the Bug-type moves that are, like, heavily slept on is, um... Fell Stinger? Right? I think that's a move introduced in Gen 4, and, like, Krikatoon has it. And basically, it's like, it's a 50 damage physical attack move, you know, for Bug-types. So you get that stab damage, too. Right? And, like, if you kill with that move, it increases the attack- it increases your attack stat drastically, right? And I'm assuming drastically is better than- than, uh... Is drastically the same one that they- no. Wait. What is the, uh... Is drastically the same words they use for, like, sword dance? Hmm. Whatever, it's a pretty goddamn good move, and it's highly slept on. By the way, we learned Constrict. That's cool. Wait, what the fuck you sent out, Hoo Hoo? Ah, shit. Now, if I'm faster than Hoo Hoo, Constrict can actually help us. I'm not faster than Hoo Hoo. Critical hit, holy shit. So now that we have Constrict going, right? Oh, Constrict is different from Rap. Okay, well, whatever. Shit. It's not as good as rap. Oh man, use foresight. It's total. It's totally Mimi. Now reflect. I mean, it's the same thing as a. Uh, as it was in Gen One, right? You put it up. It has. Uh, it has physical attacks for four turns. Unless Pokemon has Brit Break, which it breaks the barriers, right? So, that's gonna be very useful. It's gonna be very useful for Mimi and, um, and Faulkner's Gym. Getting attacked by, like, Peck and shit. Mimi, what is going on? Why are you missing all your attacks? That's, like, the second attack you missed. Why is this hoo-hoo so fucking strong? Reflect faded, of course it faded. I'm fucked now. Luckily it's not using Peck or Gust or anything like that, because if it did, I'd be dead. Dead to rights. Look at this fucking war of attrition that's going on right now. Mimi, please don't die. I don't want to disown you. Watch you get a critical. Watch you get a critical. Okay. Watch Mimi miss. Okay, you better not. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, you're gonna disappoint me one way or another. Sage Lee was defeated. Ah, excellent. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places. But to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet's Gym. Cool. And now since we have the escape rope, we can use that. But just in case we run into some... Just in case we run into some Bellsprout along the way. Might as well just run down, get some extra experience. Never mind, we're running into Gasly's. Man, fuck it, damn it. 
If you want a ghost type Pokemon, grab it now. But honestly, you're gonna have to trade it later to get a Gengar, so, you know, it's not really... whatever. It's, it's still better than, like, Mischievous, probably, but, like... You know... I can trade it, but I don't... I don't want to use Gengar. Not for this game, anyways. We're gonna use it down the road. We're gonna find a Gengar down the road in one of our other playthroughs when it's worth it. Because, best believe, I'm gonna use myself a fucking Gengar. Did I just say Gengar? Game Gar. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Run our asses over to the Pokemon Center and save our game. And then, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna train off screen because I want to get Hex Girl up some levels and I want to. I don't know, I want to have Maractus be a, a little bit useful, because let's face it, Poison Sting is not going to do much in that gym, right? Hopefully poison someone, but, you know, who knows? But anyways, I'll see you guys next time for when we uh, go and take on Faulkner, right? And then after Faulkner's over with, I think there might be a rival battle? Probably not. No, probably not. But we definitely will be getting um, our next teammate next episode. You know? So unlike unlike Gen 1, our team is going to fill up pretty goddamn fast, right? Because I'm trying to think right now. We only have, like, we have the two that we can get in this area. I think we can get two of them in this area. Right? And then the last one is not too far off. So, yeah. Team's going to be filled pretty early on. So, until then, I want to say thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. You know, if you liked it or whatever, I should have said this earlier before I did my fucking outro. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that bullshit. You know, check out my Twitch in the description. Anyways, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Take off my